Wow, the Liberals suffered a crushing defeat after they thought they had it in the bag. Priceless. How will they respond? And we will check out some CBC coverage too. Let's get started. Can the Prime Minister still stay on to lead the Liberal Party into the next election, given that you just lost one of the safest seats in the entire country last night? Yes, he certainly can. Can you explain why? Because everybody we're hearing from behind the scenes believes that the result last night means catastrophic losses across the country. If you cannot win in Toronto under Justin Trudeau, why should, he, why should anybody believe you can win anywhere else under him? Our government is focused on working hard for Canada and Canadians and on delivering results for Canada and Canadians. That is what the Prime Minister is focused on. That is what we are all focused on. The Prime Minister is committed to leading us into the next election, and he has our support. Uh, do you think the Liberals need a radical change in strategy and that perhaps a new leader in the party might be a necessary change? I just answered that question. Um, let me say the Prime Minister is focused on delivering for Canada and Canadians. Our whole government is focused on delivering for Canada and Canadians. That's what we're going to continue to do. The result in St. Paul's is certainly disappointing. We knew it was going to be a hard fight. I think it's especially disappointing because so many of us know Leslie. We know how hard she and her team worked. And I do also want to congratulate Don Stewart. He and his team worked hard as well. We know that these are hard times for Canadians. We know. We have more work to do. Um, and why exactly do you think uh, the Liberals are failing to retain voters in, in writings like St. Paul's that, you know, the party held for decades? Uh, what is going on? I think I already answered that question, and, and I'll just say um, this is a disappointing result. Uh, we take it seriously. Um, we, know, we, we know that things are hard for people in Canada, and we know we have to work even harder delivering for Canadians, winning back the trust of Canadians. That's what we're all committed to do. Mark Ramsey with the Toronto Star. Yesterday before the by-election, you well, said... I'll take one more. Yesterday before the by-election, you said the Conservative choice was cold, cruel, and small. Then Canadians in a riding that has been dominated, dominated by your party for years disagreed with you and made that choice. If you don't have your finger on the pulse with voters in Toronto St. Paul's, which voters do you have an understanding of? Thank you for the question. And, you know, this is a disappointing result for us. And we take the result really seriously. We know that Canadians are hurting right now. And we know that we have to work hard to win back their trust. We have to work hard to deliver for Canada and Canadians. Thank you very much. Did you make a mistake by making those comments? I would like to say a few words about last night's by-election. First, uh, I want to thank all the volunteers and candidates for putting their name forward and participating in this important democratic exercise, including our tremendous Liberal candidate, Leslie Church, who ran a strong and positive campaign. I also want to congratulate Don Stewart on his victory in this tightly fought race. But most of all, I want to thank the people of Toronto St. Paul's for exercising your right to vote and making your voice heard. Now, this was obviously not the result we wanted, but I want to be clear that I hear people's concerns and frustrations. These are not easy times, and it's clear that I and my entire Liberal team have much more work to do to deliver tangible, real progress that Canadians across the country can see and feel. 
We'll never stop working and fighting to make sure that people have what they need to get through these tough times. My focus is on your success, and that's where it's going to stay. Uh, to just check in with them to get their final thoughts on where things stand. They give us the latest temperature check, vibe check uh, from where they are. So, Chris, uh, why don't you get us started? Where, where are things at Down Source HQ? Well, David, it's too bad that you're not sticking around with us because they just finally put us on the TV here. <laughs> the stragglers who are here tonight are glued to it. Hawk yeah. is gone, and now they're watching our special, yeah. finally. But in, in all seriousness, most of the people at this party have gone home now. Um, some of the ones that I talked to kind of listened to Don Stewart and left with a little bit of optimism, hoping that they're going to wake up tomorrow with a surprise win based off what the uh, advanced polling comes through with. Others in the room, though, listening to Jenny Byrne, who was telling me right at the beginning of the night before we even got one vote that uh, the thing was, was lost, that they weren't going to win. Well, you know, it, it's still uh, packed here, David, I have to say. There's a real celebratory mood as those poll numbers keep coming in. You know, at the beginning of the night, people were cautiously optimistic, and now it really feels that, uh, it feels like uh, Leslie Church may hold on to this writing as a liberal stronghold. As you can hear, people are cheering uh, as the night uh, uh, is progressing. Well, well, well. Who could have expected a more fitting end to all this? A conservative win. How heartbreaking for them. Thank you for watching. Check out my channel and subscribe for more.